promised in this video, I will discuss the results of my experiment, the foremost reaction. I have to admit right away that I did not research the UV observance spectrum of the sugars as thoroughly as I should have. And so I have egg on my face in publishing this video. The maximum observance of most sugars is in the 190 to 195 nanometer range. And so my spectrophotometer doesn't quite go that low in terms of wavelength. But in spite of that, let me share my results. Okay, and what we have here is a graph with uh, wavelength measured in nanometers plotted on the x-axis. And we have absorbance on the y-axis. And as you can see, the maximum absorbance is between 200 and 240 nanometers. Uh, after that, there's a sharp drop-off, uh, and that's basically what you would expect when you are uh, when you have a sugar solution. And so, uh, but the thing about it is, you don't really know that it's that you've actually created sugars unless you find another way to test it, because that uh, 200 to 240 nanometer uh, peak could be the result of one of the reactants. And so there's an easy way to test it without, without uh, resorting to fancy lab equipment or any kind of uh, reagents. And that is to simply boil the solution until it develops a brown color, until it caramelizes. And this is characteristic of any sugar. And so here we have the result of me doing that. I, I took that solution, boiled it down, and eventually it caramelized. And I got this... Um, I put the resulting solution in a test tube, and as you can see, uh, it's uh, very caramel in color, and it even possibly has some sugar at the bottom there. Uh, and so I would say that this experiment is a success, even though I wasn't able to detect the formation of ribose. Statistically, you would expect ribose to be 1% of this sugar solution. And so I would... Uh, venture to say that this experiment was a success. Uh, and that's all. And so I want to thank everyone for watching and I will be uh, I'll be looking forward to, to uh, performing my next experiment. So thank you very much. And uh, if you haven't already be sure to like and subscribe and subscribe.